Hi, I'm Stitching Colours. Welcome to my first floss tube. I mainly stitch on full coverage pieces at the moment. I have a few non-full coverages, but mainly full coverage. I am from the South Island of New Zealand and I started cross stitching again in 2017. I currently have 14 works in progress or whips and today I'll be doing whip parade. Starting off with, my first piece is called Kingdom of Books. This is my oldest whip at the moment and was started at the end of 2020. This was a kit that I got from mybobbin.com and is it all in the frame? Yes. Right. Yes. So this was Kingdom of Books by Adriana that I bought the kit from mybobbin.com. I've got the last four books on the right hand side left to go and the back stitching. I decided not to do any of the timber in the background and just stuck with the books themselves. I stitched this with all of the kit threads on an 18 count Ada. I hope to have this one finished soon. It has been one that I keep bringing in and out of my works in progress and UFOs. I think it's the chart because it's a paper chart going back to a paper chart after having Pattern Keeper digital charts is a lot more difficult every time. So I need to get it finished. My next piece is the Twisted Rainbow Sampler by Northern Expressions Needlework. This is a the cross stitch only version and was stitched on 25 count black Lugana. It is currently at 31%. This was started in the early 2021 year, probably around March, I would expect. Uh, a lot of my older pieces that started in 2021, I don't have exact dates on them. I started a lot of pieces and not that many of them are still active work in progress so this is currently at 31 percent and i've reached both the top corners it's just working the way down on the diagonal this is stitched with the dmc colors my third piece is evening in the park by chatelaine this is a piece on a hand painted fabric by the Crosswind collection so it is called Midnight it is 32 count um I've used all of the called for threads except a couple that were out of production when I bought the kit I started this in May 2021 and all that is left is the trees and snow and lamps on the outside border. I've done all of the beading and backstitching as I've gone along. So I would hope to get this one finished by the end of the year. My next piece is a full coverage piece by charted by heaven and earth designs it's called lackadaisy card shark and the artwork is by tracy butler so this one is stitched one over one on full cross on 25 count easy guide and i am at eight percent so I started from the top left hand corner and I am moving my way along the top row of pages at the moment.
my next piece is also a heaven and earth designs also on 25 count easy guide it is called dragon race into the night the artwork is by rose khan so This one is 5.3%, also started in 2021, an unknown date. I was a little concerned initially when I started it because it had this checkerboard look effect. I'm not sure if you can see it. No, it doesn't look like it's coming through on the top left hand corner. As I've gotten further along in the piece, I don't even notice it anymore, which is very good. So that's also stitched one over one on 25 count. I tend to like to one over one on 25 count. I think it's probably because I stitch in hand. So I don't like having a really bulky, thick fabric to be trying to go through with a needle. I tend to find that it gets very bumpy if you use more threads than that on 25. But that's my personal op opinion. So my next piece is Archer by, is the artwork is by Ismira and this is a pain-free crafts piece. So I started this one in October, 2021. So this is currently at 34%. So I've gone right across the top row of pages and am starting the second row of pages. So it is looking amazing. I have to say, I love the Pain Free Crafts kits. They are fantastic. I started this one as a stitch along with my mum back in October, 2021, and we're both reasonably around the same percentage. So it's coming along nicely. I love it, all the blues and everything really make me want to stitch on it again. My next piece is by Tilton Crafts. This was also a 2021 start. This is called Planets Align Number 7 and this is under the Creative Commons license for artwork. So this is at 36.8% and i've nearly finished the top row of pages there's a little bit well mostly the last page is still there to be finished but there is a lot of 939 in the sky and yeah i love this piece i cropped about 10 rows of stitches off the top and off the bottom because I wanted to get into the moon that little bit quicker. Also search 25 count one over one. The next one is Little Dreamer Tree by Amy Stewart, chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs. Originally I started the Max Color version of this in January 2021 it was my new year start but I found that because of the confetti I didn't like how bumpy it looked so I restarted it at the end of 2021 and it stitched on 25 count one over one using the regular color version with 89 colors. This is at 9.87% and I'm nearly at the end of the first page. My next piece is a Tilt and Craft. This was my 2022 New Year's start. And it is called Blackbeard and the artwork is by Adrian Chesterman. So this one I finished the first three pages. And you can see I've been working on the pirate's flag. And there is a lot of colours in that. 
but it looks amazing. I am very happy with that. So this is again a pain free crafts and it is at 6.37% on 25 count one over one. My next piece is another January the sheer start. It was started on the 3rd of January and is called Wizard Septimus. By Jan, the artwork is by Jan Patrick Krasny, also charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. So this is at by no 2.7% with about 10,000 stitches in total so far. So you'll have to excuse there's a lot of park threads on that one. Um, I love the way the sky looks almost like a galaxy at this moment. My next piece is Mini Heart of the Storm. This is also a Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork was by Lisa Parker and this one is at 21.5% so I bought the material pack September-ish last year and it arrived January this year and once it arrived I just about had to start it. So currently it is at 21.5% and I have finished the first page and am part way through the second. Again, stitch 25 count, one over one. My next piece is a Gecko Rouge piece called Cat Number no. 4 by Zazak Namu. This was started the 1st of May 2022. I was doing a bit of a challenge with myself to see if I could finish a small Gecko Rouge pattern in 100 days. I got part way there and then got a little bit distracted by other pieces. So this is currently at 73.8%. And I've finished more on the right hand side than I have on the left. So there. Yeah. This is also 25 count one over one, and this was the from a kit from Gecko Rouge. Uh, it is fantastic. I love the symbols on the Gecko Rouges. They are so cool, <laughs> all the different things like glasses and phone, old style phones and things like that, that are in the symbols of the charts. There aren't any duplicates, I should say, or very similar looking symbols. The next piece I've got is the Mythical Alphabet by Stanley Morrison. This is a pain free crafts piece. And this was the 2020, the 2020 stitch along that they did or sell. And this one I started the, at the start of June this year. So the border is 32% of the way through and I've completed the A, B and the C. Percentage wise on the letters it's pretty hard to tell the overall percentage because each of the letters are individual charts. This is stitched on 28 count, 2 over 2, full cross. Because of all of the fractionals in the letters. So, if I can get this to work. There. Maybe. You'll get a good look at those letters. The letters are amazing. But there is a lot of fractionals in them. So my last piece is a Christmas piece that I started this year. I started it the 24th of June this year and 
it is called Little Helpers. It's by and the artwork is by Anne Stokes, and the piece is charted by Pain Free Crafts. This is at five percent, and is on twenty five count one over one full cross. So mainly what I've got here is a tree. Um. This piece is out of print. It is a retired chart. And that is all of my current works in progress. So I do have plans for September, which involve having 15 works in progress, which means I need to start something. So my plans for September include spending two days on every single piece that I've got in my rotation. So the plan is to have a new start of the Fairy Tale Sampler. So this is by Dragon Dreams and I'm not sure. It is a mixture of cross stitch and it's got six different specialty stitches in it. This will probably get started this weekend. I normally work on pieces for four or five days, so this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. It'll be interesting. If you're still here, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, thank you, bye.